am Dr. John Dayal John. I work as the HOD of orthopedic department at Luth Hospital, Kochi, Kerala. Knee replacement is one of the most successful surgeries uh, in orthopedics now. Uh, about 20 years ago, when we started knee replacement surgeries, uh, it was, you know, in the early states in our state. But it has evolved in, the, in such a way that, you know, it, is, it has become one of the most common surgeries performed in our hospital. So, uh, the knee replacement, the implants have changed the procedure wise. It has come from, uh, you know, the manuals to navigations to robotics and all. But the value of a lot of additions as still has to be proved. And uh, if you look at 20 years back, the knee replacement surgeries must have been around, you know, like maybe 5 or 10 in a month. That has gone up to 35 to 75 in a month. So the numbers have increased. So the expertise have increased. The implants have changed. Patient's need has changed and the, the physiotherapy and rehabilitation also have changed. So the result of knee replacement surgeries have also improved. So some patients will come and ask me what is robotic surgery and how uh, is it of help at the present age in orthopedics. So uh, I would say that you know it is really in the beginning stage. Robotics if you look at uh, the literature that is what people have been doing till now. About 10 years, you know, the literature have come, the comparison between manual and robotics. There has been no advantage of robotics till now. It has been proved well and good that it is, uh, it helps the surgeon. And if you think about, you know, robotics as a such, it is of no much use in difficult cases, but it gives a good result in a uh, simple cases. It is, uh, for me, I think robotics is uh, something which is evolving. Uh, which has got a role maybe in future. At the present orthopedic scenario, robotic still has a lot of uh, areas to evolve. Uh, if you look at it uh, about the knee replacement part, the challenges, a uh, uh, lot of challenges has been there, you know. Uh, but if you look at particularly our state, there are a lot of schemes which have come and uh, like Medisa, BSI and a uh, lot of uh, people have uh, uh, many claims of different companies. So the it's not only uh, the people are you know holding from undergoing knee replacement because of financial constraints, and our hospital is one which has been doing it in a pretty uh, you know affordable rate, and that's why we were able to do more than 5,000 joint replacement in last 17 years in this hospital. Lourdes Hospital may be uh, may be the only center. Uh, in Kochi where this, a single surgeon has been sitting for the last 17 years and has performed more than 5,000 joint replacement as such. So our center is a high volume center and uh, we not only do surgeries, we care for our patients. So the results matters more for us than doing more numbers. So for us, the result, our patients and our uh, doctors and the physiotherapists uh, gives us a very good result. So, um, I will say that, you know, Luth Hospital is has developed in last uh, around uh, 17 to 20 years. It has become one of the pioneers in joint replacement center, uh, not only for patients, also for uh, training uh, doctors, future doctors for in joint replacement surgery. Uh, in Luth Hospital joint replacement department, we do uh, joint replacements of the upper limb as well. We do reverse shoulders. We do shoulder resurfacing, total shoulder replacement, elbow replacements, and, uh, and more frequently we do total hip replacement, which has got a better result and more success rate than knee replacement. And uh, we are one of the first centers to do the mobility angle replacement in India. And uh, as, you, as you look at, uh, the replacement surgeries. Uh, if you do it for a correct indication for a correct patient, then the result of joint replacements are good for all the joints. So we have to select the patient, identify, then execute it.